Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today, um, it's not going to be a video that I planned on doing today. I really wanted to start with a lot of design tutorials and a lot of marketing tutorials, but as you can hear, my voice is a little bit um, hard to come out yet, so I knew that today's video is going to have to be short. But just because it's short doesn't mean that it's not awesome, because there has something that has been going on in the past two days that really made me want to take action and stop being perfectionist and just do it. From the very early beginning of this channel, I have been receiving a lot of messages from people to set up a Patreon account, to set up, you know, a buy me a coffee account, which eventually I did. I had a buy me a coffee. They changed the way that they pay their creators, which I didn't want to work with that anymore, and I had a $5 support the channel through my PayHip store, which, by the way, you can still do. It's just random $5 for the channel. You get a thank you letter from me and five photos of Bansko from the beginning of me being here. So it's like, it was a very, um, I don't know, a postcard village in the spring. But a big part of Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee, even PayHip and even YouTube, which I currently have the option to do, is memberships. So people can apply, whether it's with $5 a month or $10 a month, to basically support their creators each and every month, and then the creator uploads certain content that is only for people who are members. I was also getting a lot of requests to do something similar, and even though that I'm a lot better than what I was a year ago physically and mentally, I still don't want to have you know, the obligation, like, to feel like I need to live up to whatever people are paying per month, which is why on my January sum up and goals for February video that was, like, two days ago, I basically asked you guys if you'll be interested in sort of a monthly bundle box. So it's sort of like some of the designs that I'm making for myself during February, you know, testing out new leaves, new patterns, doing this, like, cute little procreate brush, or making a font, and I would basically be placing some of these designs, like 10 or 9 or 12 of them, into a bundle that you can buy for, I don't know, a few bucks. Oh, and all of these can obviously be used for commercial purposes, whether you're selling print on demand or printables. I was thinking about launching this in February, mostly because I wanted to style, you know, the PayHip store, or to have it already on my website, and this morning I woke up and I thought to myself, you know what? I've designed so many things in January, including a really cool brush that I call it Monster by May. And I've designed all these cool things in January. Like I have loads of stuff that I designed, even stuff that I'm not yet using. And I could just do it now. I can stop being a perfectionist, delete everything from my pay hip store that was not perfect and just upload it now, which is what I did. So on my PayHip store right now, there is the January bundle box that contains 12 different files. And I would really like to share these files with you guys so you'll know what is in the bundle. So there are three objects that are flowers that I made using the symmetry line on Procreate. They have this like flowing effect to them. I think sort of the palettes also have this like kind of glow and a little bit of a white outline made from chalk. So there are three of these files. There is also my little shocked pineapple. I was playing around with shading and masking and you know, making eyes, and I made this really, really cute pineapple that I think you can do a lot of things with, whether it's to make it into a pattern, make it on a t-shirt, it says like, wait, what? It's like 2022 already, or where is summer? Or just write down anything silly on it if you put it on a t-shirt. I also added two seamless patterns. One of them is called All the Way to the 70s, and I sort of use like this 70s effect in multiple colors, and it's a complete seamless pattern, so you can combine it. Like if you just upload it as is to Redbubble, for example, where they have the repeat button, or if you make it on Clip Studio Paint, if you make it on Canva to be bigger, if you add it to your Art of Wear or to Printful, wherever you can basically like duplicate what you're doing. I thought it would be a really cool pattern. It's also really cool, I don't know, to just use it for notebooks or notebook covers or just pillows because it's, I don't know, it's kind of trippy. I like it. I also had another seamless pattern that is made from hand sketch butterflies that I did. 
So again, you can use it just as is and just put it on pillows and stuff, or you can use it as a background for wall art, for notebooks, or for whatever it is that you're designing. There are also three other backgrounds or sort of digital papers that are slightly bigger than the normal one. I think they're around 6,000, 7,000 pixels. One of them is called River and Orange, and it's not a seamless pattern. These are not seamless patterns, but again, using my technique with Flip Studio Paint or with Photoshop, you can just multiply these and make them into a pattern. I am letting you know that these are probably gonna be in my Society6 store. And I have the river and orange, which is like a liquid effect. I also have ground moving, which is something that I really played around with the liquid effect, but also to give it a bit of a 3D vibe. And leaves in a row made from a leaf that I hand painted on Procreate. There is also a little pastel crown, that's how I like to call it, it's a cute little pastel flower, and my monster brush. And I'm, I'm taking you a bit to procreate just to show you how this brush works, and the reason why I called it monster. So this was one of the first brushes that I made for myself using procreate, and I was playing around with it, and at first when I tried the result, it looked really weird. I was like, what am I doing? But then I thought to myself, oh, this looks like I could instantly create one of these like fluffy monsters, like just a fuzzy monster and, you know, just add legs and just add eyes. So I'm giving you guys this brush in this bundle as well. And also another little monster that I did from this brush is attached as a PNG format with a clear background to this January bundle box. As I said in the beginning, you can find this January bundle box on my Payhip store. There has been a new collection, like a new category for bundle boxes, which now only contains January, and it's $4. So $4, and you can have these 11 files and one Procreate brush to use for whatever you want. You can use them for printables, you can use them for print on demand, whether you're making greeting cards, stationery packs, envelopes, designing different puzzles, making pillowcases or shower curtains or designing t-shirts, whether you want to use them as is or add on to them. While this video is made separately from my monthly goals, I do believe that every month I will be advertising this month's box along with my goals video. So this is the first and last time that these two are separate videos. As of next month, like the 1st of March, I will be going over my goals for February. Have I met them? What are my goals for March? As well as what do I have in store for you with the February box that will be available in March. There are a lot more design tutorials coming up. I might be a bit more silent in the next few days if I make a design tutorial, so please forgive me. I still want to make videos, mostly because I'm bored being home. Um, and I'm still like I'm creating a lot of stuff because I can't do these long videos I'm designing a lot and working a lot on my designs and I really want to share these with you guys as well as start touching up on Easter because Easter is gonna be right around the corner guys this is the time to start planning for Easter not to mention you know the Chinese New Year that started a few days ago and will be with us for the rest of the year we have Valentine's Day in two weeks so if you're designing printables this is a really good time to do it as well as St. Patrick's Day which had a full tutorial on in the channel and I will leave a link to that one down below I would like to thank all of you guys for DMing me after the video two days ago I I remember getting so many DMs on Instagram saying like if I lived in Bansko I would bring you chicken soup. So thank you so much. I'm going to make my own soup right now. Um, and thank you to everybody that DM me or commented that doing these bundle boxes is a good idea. It's going to be very variant in the next few months. I really want to make it authentic into the things that I am making. And I do believe that some of the bundle boxes are going to be bigger and priced a bit more. And some of them are going to be smaller like now with only 12 files and priced very cheap. But I don't think I will go anywhere over $10. There are so many places online where you can find high quality graphics and high quality files and brushes. And I really just wanted to make this as a small thing for you guys. One, because you really requested the memberships. And two, because I have been receiving a lot of photos from people who have actually used some stuff that were in my Etsy store and some of my fonts and backgrounds and send me the result. And it's, uh, I don't know, you guys were enthusiastic about it and I was happy about it. Uh, by the way, if you like this video, 
feel free to hit that like button down below because every time you do it really does help my channel and subscribe to my channel if you just ended up here and you're not yet subscribed if you do end up making anything with january bundle box i would love for you guys to share your designs with me you can just upload them onto our Facebook group or just send me a link through Facebook so I can go ahead and check it out and maybe even add it to next month, you know, just to showcase the community and what you guys are designing. I really want to be more involved in our community, especially in the Facebook group and the community tab. And I want you guys to share the things that you're doing with me because it's, I just feel like we're a bunch of, you know, creative people that are having these like work sessions online together and it's just super fun and with that being said um i managed to not cough a lung <laughs> throughout this video but that was it from me for today thank you so much for watching and as usual i'll see you guys in my next video bye